We've got Corey Seager and Marcus Simeon on our set right now in Arizona. Guys, thank you so much. Congratulations. A terrific performance. Corey, I'm going to start with you. The history that you've made throughout this postseason, being one of four players to do this, be a World Series MVP. I know you don't like talking about yourself, but history's history, man, and you've accomplished a lot. How do you make sense of it? Um, yeah, you know, obviously it's really cool, but without this group, you know, none of this matters. So just the resilience of this team all year to be able to come out and compete and put us in this situation, you know, it's just it's a lot of fun. This is why we came here. This is what we wanted to do. It's, so it's, it's really cool right now. I know everybody talking about you know, you postseason homers and all that. But talk to me about how much pride you take on that defense because that game three, that play that you make in the eighth, that saved the game to me. Yeah, you know, absolutely. You know, this, this defense is more important in these these situations. You know, we kind of showed that tonight, you know, how good Gallon was. You know, runs were hard to come by. Same thing with Evo. You know, he kept us in that game all all day. So anytime you can minimize runs in the playoffs, you know, you got a better chance. And then you made, you made, you, you just said it, that resilient team, you know, with injuries, including yourself during the course of the season. Where does that come from? Um, it's just to compete, man. You want to be out there with your teammates. You know, this this group's a this group's a fun group. You know, we're a close knit group, and we want to be out there and compete. You know, we we hurt for Adolis just as much as he did. You know, but he was a big part of what we accomplished here. You know, to be able to come in and be vulnerable and give a speech to us. You know, it really fired everybody up. Marcus, I have to ask you. He hit that bomb. What does it feel like when you're getting first base? I've never showed that emotion on the field anywhere. <laughs> Not even in little league. Uh, we just felt that much closer. You know, you get up five nothing with pitching that's been lights out. We got out of so many jams tonight. Um, you know, I just felt like we were almost there. Looked at the bench, they were going crazy. And it just felt good around those bases. Marcos, talk to me about that little adjustment that you made because it seems you know that you were struggling chasing that little slider and playing against you for a long time. Uh, that's not you, you know, and I get to the, the opportunity in game three to see you and say, hey, use the whole field. And I saw you laying off of the slider later on. You got an RBI base hit. What were those a little adjustments that you end up making to have the success that you have over the last three nights? Yeah, I mean, just simplify things. I think, you know, throughout the postseason, you know, I try to do too much. You know, it's, when you try and do too much and, you know, the other team is executing the plan that's supposed to get you out, you know, you're not going to do anything. And, mm -hmm. uh, Kind of simplify things, quieted things down, and use the whole field, and that'll help you stay on those tough pitches. Corey, your World Series MVP with the Dodgers, you follow that up in 2023. When you signed here with the Rangers, why the Rangers when you were a free agent? Um, you know, it was really the plan in place. You know, a lot of it was talking to CY and him not shying away from where they were and where they wanted to go, you know, and then. Fortunately, you know, I have a guy like this who wants to come with me. So when we got together and we just talked about what we could accomplish here, you know, it was something really exciting. You know, finding out that this organization's never won before, it's a it's a cool experience to try and be able to do that. You know, and to be able on the ground floor with Marcus to be able to compete, uh, be able to do that, it's just special. It is special. In 52 years, the Rangers have been in the state of Texas and had won a World Series. You feel really good about, hey, you helped bring something to the city of Arlington? Yeah, absolutely. You know, this whole team did. You know, th th we'll forever be the guys that did it. So that's something that, uh, I mean, you just can't you can't get it out of words. You know, it just, it's it's awesome. I don't, I don't know what other to say that. Well, when you, when you sign massive contracts and you did it on the same day, you joined this team on the same day, uh, there's pressure that comes with it. And the two of you to have that moment where you hug after the final out, and we've got images inside Globe Life where they had a watch party, where all the Rangers fans were in that ballpark, your home yard, watching you guys have this moment. Marcus, I'll start with you. What do you say to these fans in your home ballpark going crazy when you guys got the final out and won the World Series? It's a sight to see. You know, we, we did have a lot of road wins, but you know, to see that place packed during the playoffs and um, throughout the entire year, you know, it definitely meant a lot to me. You know, I played, I played on a lot of Oakland teams that didn't have that type of support. Right. Um, and that definitely picked us up and got us where we are today. Corey, what did you want to say to those Texas fans who are out partying right now? Yeah, I mean, I hope you guys are just as happy as us. But uh, you know, just it's a great fan base. You know, even supporting us last year when we weren't winning, they they saw the vision that we did and to stick with us this whole time, man. It, this is this is for all of us. You know, it, it's a fun moment. It was funny to watch you walk up the steps because no one would ever walk you in the World Series, <laughs> and we were saying, "Walk, Corey Seager." He just kept getting big hits. Corey, Marcus, right. congratulations, Thank guys. You. you deserve it. Thank you. You're
your World Series champion, That's Texas right. Rangers, yes. up the middle. Marcus Simeon, Corey Seager, your World Series MVP.